Hello and welcome to another Reefcraft Coral Spotlight. This is a mini-series deep diving into the species found along the West Australian coastline. In this episode, we'll be looking at Plesiastria versipora. This coral has some mind-boggling adaptations and comes in every colour imaginable, often showcasing contrasting colours between polyps, coralite and body. The colonies are flattened domes, which are often lobed, giving them the appearance of a meteor. The tentacles are frequently extended during the day and are seen to have alternating sizes. They grow in close proximity to each other and even fuse with other colonies, which can be seen in the example above. Now this coral is one of the most common rare species in the world. And what I mean by this is that they're almost never seen in the aquarium industry. But it has one of the most vast distributions of any coral species. It is found in almost every ocean, from the east coast of Africa, all the way to the Arabian Sea, across India, Vietnam, China, Japan, to the North Central Pacific, and all the way around Indonesia and Australia, becoming very common and almost dominant in many temperate regions throughout. The crazy thing about this coral is its ability to adapt to different environmental conditions of nutrients, lighting, temperature, and turbidity. It can be found along rock pools and rocky foreshores in less than a metre of water, estuaries and river mouths, deeper reefs, and even found in entrances to caves and overhangs where there is very little light available near corals like Tabastria and Gorgonians. Plesiastria versipora is a gonochore, which means each colony is either male or female. This is strongly influenced by size, where males are larger and female colonies remain smaller as it seems they put more energy into reproduction rather than growth. However, it is possible that they could change sex as they grow larger, similar to many species of fish. In relation to Western Australia, it is found everywhere, from the cold waters of Albany all the way to the northern tip. In the northern waters, it usually remains smaller, but in more temperate waters, it can reach a massive three metres wide. At these sizes, they are believed to be up to 380 years old. Because of this, it has become a valuable indicator of climate records in temperate regions as you can read its growth similar to the rings on trees. So that's all I have today for our Reefcraft Coral Spotlight on Plesiastria versipora. Like and subscribe as we'll be doing many more species along the West Australian coast. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.